Happy Wednesday, my friend. I hope you're in good spirits today. If you are not, then you have come to the right place. Yes, this is the channel that is meant to inspire, inform, and entertain all at the same time. A threefer. Lucky you. On today's episode, I have a lot of energy today and I do not know why. I am talking about another topic that I've wanted to do for a pretty long time and that is how to know if you've outgrown a situation. Cue the opening. I'm Shayna and I love sharing ways on how to better yourself and how to create a beautiful life. Now we outgrow all different types of situations, jobs, relationships, living situations. So just keep this lesson in mind for any and all areas of your life. Before I jump in, I just wanna say this. From what I've learned over the past few years of being a coach and just really what I've observed in other people, Leaving a situation that we've outgrown is definitely one of the biggest universal struggles when it comes to bettering ourselves and our lives and our futures. Generally speaking, we're pretty good at recognizing when something doesn't feel right anymore or when something isn't working or when we're unhappy in a certain situation. But we're equally as good, if not better, at pushing those feelings away, pushing them to the side, ignoring those feelings feelings or choosing to stay out of fear. We try to hold on for dear life to avoid making a change. For example, you've been in a relationship for six years, you know it's not working anymore, but being at a bar and single at 34, it's terrifying. Or you're at a job that you hate but you have no idea what's around the corner, or maybe you've grown up in the same town since you were four and you've outgrown that space and that environment but moving to a new city or a new place or a new state or whatever, that sounds scary too. As humans, we are designed to evolve and to grow and to challenge ourselves, but that does not happen in our quote unquote comfort zones. Nope. Hashtag regret. You listen to me. Okay, clinging on to the old prevents us, blocks us from something new and bigger and better. I truly believe that people and opportunities and experiences come into our lives for a reason to teach us something about ourselves. You know, who we are, what we want, what we don't want, what we need to work on, etc. So when a situation feels right, we move forward with it. We take that job, we commit to that relationship, we move to that new city, great. So you wanna stay there as long as it's working, but when it's not working anymore, when it doesn't feel right, when you've stopped growing within that situation, it is time to learn the lesson that that brought into your life and keep on moving. Again, in this culture, we have a very difficult time with the moving on part. And now for the future presentation. How do you know if you've outgrown a situation? Number one, you get the itch. You know, you get a little antsy and you can't sit still, so to speak, and your mind kind of wanders and you wonder what else is out there. Number two, you dread or at least not look forward to it, whatever it is anymore. You get that pit in your stomach, you know, it's not exciting anymore. And not only is it not exciting and fun, but also it's not challenging. You've completely flatlined. And again, there's no more growth within that situation. It just feels mundane. It feels like the same old, same old. And number four, sometimes the situation gets progressively worse. When we remain in a job or relationship, whatever it may be that's no longer right for us, the universe starts sending us red flags to warn us that says, hey, get out. But the more we ignore these red flags and the more we push them to the side, the bigger and more intense they get. So you cannot expect these obstacles to just go away and disappear because they will not until you make a change. So if any of these ring a bell to you, it is time to reevaluate. Yes, stepping out of our comfort zone and leaving a situation that we've outgrown can be scary and sometimes uncomfortable, but it is always worth it. Just think back a time in your life when you did jump and you did take that leap of faith and now you look back and you're like man what was I thinking staying in that situation for as long as I did just remember how worth it it was and how much better your life became because of it 
that is it for today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up right below. Leave your comments, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And of course, if you have not signed up, for your free video training series on how to find your passion and get paid to do work that you love, make sure you sign up. The link is down below and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.